Hello, friends. Hello, dear subscribers. Today, we will play a game called Roblox. We found a very interesting mode, which should be sure you all like. Hello, everyone. In this mode, we will need to escape from this popular nugget. It's so funny, and I think we can still get away from it with ease. Let's get started. Now we probably need to get into the vent. Let's hurry up and see what there is. I think this is the only way out of here. Here we meet Tess. That's the first obstacle. We hit some kind of ventilation location and we need to get out of here first. It tells us what to do with the nuggets and we have to go through the pipes. Next, you have to push the button and rise the platforms on which we jump to the next test. It is quite simple, though these platforms are difficult to jump from one to the other. Here we go, finally into the ventilation next. I hope that's the way out. Wow! We got to the most important room, which we saw only behind bars. Beware of the guard! We had to push the button and we had time to do it. Now we just run away from this nugget. It is so funny and at the same time scary. I'd be friends with him if I could. Okay, we've already jumped on the pipes and we need to get to the next vent that we opened with the button. This is a very interesting test and I want to pass it all. We have almost reached this ventilation. I am very curious where this thing will lead us now. It is very far to go, so also to fall down. It's very dark and scary. Wow! We're in a regular bathroom! How cool! We have to find a way out of here now! It will be quite simple because it is in one of the booths! Let's take a shovel and start digging! So we got into some very wonderful place! There are many different toys and you need to hurry it all up to go to the end! In principle, everything looks very simple here! I see my favorite obstacle. It's a broken bridge. Let's get to it soon and I'll show the master class how to pass it correctly. This is so fun. Try it yourself. Wow! How cool and exciting it is to jump on it. Because it can break and we will fall into lava, but we will have to hold on. This is very extreme and I like it too. Then we went to another location and jumped all the spikes! We came to a test where we need to dodge this big ball! You have to hide in certain places from him. It's all pretty simple. The main thing is to know roughly when to roll the ball. If it just rolled, it is better to run immediately. Well, if he's long gone, it's better to wait. Here we are running to the second shelter. After it will be the next test. It's all so cool to pass, I really like it. Here we are almost at the finish line. Let's accelerate. We go up the stairs quietly and I can hear my enemy. It's a Nugget Knight policeman. Here we will have to open the door somehow and run past it. It will be difficult. That's the door opening lever! Let's just pull it and try to get to the door! Oh no! We didn't quite make it and he caught us! All right, let's try it again! All right, we need to make a quick run at him. And then we need to get right up the stairs so he doesn't catch us. Let's try it all very quickly. Hurrah, we ran away from him! We are going higher! I am very interested in what is waiting for us upstairs. Yet here is such an unusual staircase that leaves much to be desired. We're finally upstairs and there's an elevator. Now let's take the elevator upstairs. I hope we get out and go through the tests inside the prison or outside. It's so much better than underground. Wow, here we are at the next test. There will be a fast passage. We need a drink and we're gonna be super fast and we can go all the way down this road. Run faster, it all pass. It's so fun. I've never run so fast. It's very fast. Like if you also want to run so fast. I wonder where we will eventually run. There are a lot of sharks and different decorations. This is very cool done and I would like to stay here to live. Here we see the end of this test. Let's get over there. We're going up the stairs to the next challenge. There are two ladders, so we don't know what's coming. Wow, there's a storage room. Here I think I need to take something from this warehouse and put under the hatch. Yet there is a further hatch, which can get. You have to take some ladder to get there. Let's get to that hatch and get in there. I am sure that we have passed exactly half of the whole mode and very soon there will be a battle with the boss. I am waiting for it. We almost climbed to the top. Let's try again. Hurrah, here we go quickly on the ventilation. I hope that the next trials will be very interesting and not boring. Here we go from one vent immediately to another. Let's see where this ventilation will lead us, unlike the other. Wow, this is some awesome challenge. There are a lot of cartoon toys as well as sharks. They all need to be more likely to beware or they will kill us or we will crash on them. We'll be a little more careful 
not to let that happen. Here we are, almost to the end. Let's hurry up the stairs and see where it can lead us. Wow! There's an airway again. There's another vent to fly into. It's all pretty simple. That's how I got here the first time. The most important thing is ingenuity, not precision. Run more along the ventilation. We're going to some cafeteria. There is a cook, and now we have a mini battle with him. How cool. Now we need to run and get out of his kitchen a cannon that shoots food. It's the only way we can kill this chef. He shoots us with food and we slow down. The main thing is that he does not catch up with us. We will start all over again. We have already started to deal damage to it, and in principle, it takes a lot of damage with one shot. He has half of his health left. It will be necessary to shoot him a little more, and he will definitely die. He is very scary and tired of throwing food at us. We finally killed him. Run quickly for the next test. Here it is close enough and we can quickly find it. We're going to have to fly off the slide and jump over all the spikes. It's pretty scary. Let's finally roll down. Still very interesting that we still have to go here. Oh my God, how cool we rolled with you. Let's take the stairs upstairs. I noticed that there are nuggets all over the place. I think these are past policemen who failed to catch criminals like us. There's an exit to some vent. This is where we need to get to this air duct right now, or rather ventilation, and go upstairs. There we are prevented from rising lasers, so we will need to dodge them. It is quite simple. There are two more lasers to go. It will be quite simple. I'm very interested in what awaits us at the very end of this test. I hope there's a fight with the boss soon. Here we are at last and upstairs. Ran to the next location and see what awaits us. Wow, we're going to have to build a bridge out of these platforms. Let's take one of the bridges, or rather the platforms, and make them a bridge. It will be quite simple and fast because you can only use one platform to pass. We have only a few steps left to go. Now we will be ready to pass it the first time. After all, we need to put the platform correctly so that it does not fall. But now we will go on. There's an iron door and there's probably a boss fight waiting for us. How could this happen? Now we're gonna have to kill that Nuggy Pop robot. Shoot him in his hands. His hands are the most vulnerable part of his body. So now we can shoot them off and finally get out of this prison. This fight with the boss is very easy. The main thing is not to get hit by bullets. We have already blown off one of his hands and it remains only to destroy the second. He still manages to shoot at this time. Let's finish him off and get on with it. So we killed him and we only have to run away from here. We will finish today's series. Subscribers, thank you for watching. If you like the series, like and subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Bye. Hello, friends. Hello, dear subscribers. Today we will play a game called Roblox. We have found a very interesting mode that you will all like. Hello, everyone. Today we will be playing in victories from the house of the Peppa Pig family. This is a very unusual test because we have not yet done that exactly. Let's probably get this over with. Pinkie Pie, you talk too much. Let's just quietly pass all these tests and not distract each other. We need to run away, not talk. We have already passed a whole parkour room while you were talking. Better look further. What an interesting test here. We have to get through it and get to the next one. Here we have finally passed it. Let's quickly move on. Here you need to use something to pass this test. Looks like Daddy Pig dropped all the remote controls. Let's go jump those remote controls already. We've been going through this too long and we need to accelerate. We're still the fastest in the area and we can get through this in minutes. Hurry up, I wonder what's waiting for us there. Let's see, wow, we got into the kitchen at the house of the Peppa Pig family. How terribly beautiful, let's go. Everything is very cool here. So we are also greeted by Peppa and George. Let's start all this already and do not waste time. It's a very complicated knife trial, but we're still doing it. Here I see the next obstacle. Here we will have to jump through various products and get on the fridge. From there, we will already get into some ventilation. It's so cool, everything is arranged. So let's go inside and try to find a way out. There must be a lot of moves, but we need to find the only definitely our way out. No sign of him yet. We need to find a way out of here because I do not like this environment. I just want to get out of here and relax at home. But we're still sitting here and we can't get out of this vent. There are many moves, but they do not lead to the same point. 
So if we run one way first, there may not be a passageway and have to run the other way. This is very cool. Here we are running to the exit, and now we will see what is waiting for us next. We got to someone in the mouth, and we need to quickly get out of here. There's a big hole over there. You have to jump down quickly to get out of here. I hope it's safe. Oh no, how high is it? The main thing is not to crash into something. We fell right into the stomach. We must get out of here soon. I have no idea where we have to go. Let's just go along the food. I think there should definitely be an exit. Food still goes somewhere. Let's have a big burger. George tells us we have to jump through food to get out of here. So now we're gonna take George's advice and get through this to the exit. We don't know where we are. There are cookies and a big sandwich. Who only has one at a time? Well, we won't ask any questions. Let's just get to the next challenge. Here we have come to the next test. We need to urgently pass this test because I am already ill in the body of one of the Peppa Pig family. This looks pretty creepy. Here we are on the next test. Here we need as much as at the beginning to jump these squares. It's like we're jumping into chess and we don't have to hit black squares. Shit, we're dead. Well, that's all right. Now we're going to be reborn in the same place and try it again. The main thing is to take it slow and watch what you do. That's it. The most important thing is attention. We hooked it up and now all went with the first try. Hurry up. Wow. You should probably just jump those obstacles. It's quite simple, so now we'll pass the next test. Look, over there we are already falling down. Good thing we're not dead and I can already see a way out of here. Hurry up and get him. Here you need to pass this test at speed. First we will die a little and then we will begin to pass quickly. After all, we need to get used to the speed of obstacles as well as how much to jump. Here we were almost able to get through to the end. Come on, there's a little more left and we'll get out of this body. Hurrah, that's the end. Only now we appear elsewhere. It's the kitchen again. All right, let's get this over with. Only where will we start? And here, you have to jump on these black squares and then immediately on hangers. That's pretty cool. Then we get to the table where we need to jump a little through lasers as well as through the water, which is poisoned for some reason. Just stay out of the way. We have almost reached the next checkpoint. There is very little left and we can all pass it. Let's push. We're already jumping over some bathroom accessories. Hurry up. We are told by George that we pass well. I am glad of this support. Now we are jumping on the dental counts. It is very unusual. Let's get on with it. Then we will have to jump down. Only on the floor we will not be able to step. And we will have to step only on drops of water. They'll get us through. We've almost done all that and we're about to pass the next test. It is quite difficult because the distance between the drops is very large and it is a little inconvenient. But we still managed. Next we need to jump on the tables. Only they are also unusual. After all, if you fall on the drops that appear on the table, you can easily die. So be careful when passing. We have almost reached the end. Let's accelerate already. I just want to go to the very end of all these tests. If we don't, I'm going to feel really bad. Next, we go through some very strange things. Well, it is clear that you need to jump the green band, but it is not clear what this object. All right, the main thing is that we pass. Hurry up and get on the hot dog, and soon we'll get on the next test. Wow, there's a parrot. Can he take us to the finish line on his back? Ha ha. Jump on more on some different objects and products. There is everything. There are salads and fast food and even a lot of dessert. I'd rather eat all this than jump on it. Next, we have to go through a little maze. It consists of these walls that kill instantly. Now I will try to demonstrate this. That's about how it works. Now we shall be reborn and we shall have better simply to pass this test in peace. We will watch every inch of these walls so as not to touch them. And then we will start again. We are almost there. Let's push it a bit because pretty soon I'm sure there will be an end to all trials. The main thing is not to stop and move forward. While we pass, the color changes. This is finally the end of this trial. Let's move on. Now we will have to jump over real money. I'm just shocked that such a test can be. Let's quickly do it. And they say that money is not dirty. Here, look, how we walk on them with our feet. It's just a horror. Come quickly on. There are lasers, only I cannot see the floor. What do you need to do? Applejack, here is a simple glass that can handle any weight. It was only necessary to look closely. See how easy it all goes. We're already climbing Lego Mountain. I think that this is almost the end. It is quite a bit and we will pass this test. The main thing is to get to the closet because this is the highest point here. Next, we have to go a little bit on this red thing. I think this is the final test before the finish. Because
because I can't see any further and it's been a long time. This test is quite heavy and you need to be more careful to pass it. There are very narrow passages and you can easily die, but we won't allow it. Let's get to the end and see what's coming next. Because now will be the end of all trials. We have to go through the window. Wow, we appeared on the roof of the Peppa Pig family house. How cool! Let's all go down quickly to finish this escape! We still could do it! Look, there are so many sides and so many statues! We are running further and further. There is even some checkpoint on which we meet some people. I hope they're happy for us, for running away from home. Well, now let's finish today's series. Subscribers, thank you for watching. If you like today's series, like and subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Bye. Hello, friends. Hello, dear subscribers. Today we will play a game called Roblox. This mode is very cool and we want to play it again. Let's get started. Hello, everyone. This mode is called Doors. Here it will be very scary because it is horror. We're gonna have to run through doors into different rooms where the monsters are gonna follow us. We will try to play squad today, or rather to gather people to play together. We may not have enough time to gather the whole nation and we will have to play alone, but we hope we will not be alone. We don't have a crowd yet, but we'll wait till the last minute for him to come all over. Everyone wants to play a lot, so at least someone should connect. A lot of people have gathered near our room, I hope we can start, and now we will play very cool. The time is almost up, and it looks like the three of us are going to be playing together. All right, this will be fun too. Here comes the download! Very soon we will appear in the elevator and wait for everyone. After the elevator, we will go out for tests and pass them all. How cool it is that we are here! The download is still going on for a long time. I want to start playing soon. I hope it will be very cool, and we will pass all very quickly. Here we are in the elevator, waiting for our third partner. I don't think he's gonna be connecting to us anytime soon, so we're gonna have to wait 20 seconds to start together. I really hope that we will be able to walk to at least 20 doors, because it is very difficult. That's it! Now we'll start playing together, because we're only a few seconds away from getting off the elevator. It's okay. The important thing is that we friends are always together. We arrived at the hotel, and let's start already going. We need to find the key, and I roughly remember where it should be. We need to get in here, and then we can find the coins and the key. For some reason, our partner fell asleep a little. It seems that he is very afraid to be. Well, nothing. Let's open the door for him and run along. This is just the beginning, and nothing will happen. We're already going through the second door, and there's a warehouse waiting for us. Looks like someone wanted to clean up, but because of the monsters, he did not work out. Our partner seems to have left because he was very scared. So, here's the third room. There's basically nothing interesting here besides the lockers that usually have coins in them. Now, we're all gonna take them and go to the next room. There are also a lot of tables and boxes in room four where we can find coins, but so far there's nothing that can help us find. Let's keep running. Come on! There's a door closed here and we'll probably have to find something like a lever. Let's try to find that lever in this basement and finally open the door. There's a manhole right here. Let's try to climb up there and see if there's a lever or not. Oh my God, there's nothing. Run back, he's probably in the other aisle. Now we will see. We just lost time while climbing here. Well, that's okay. Now we'll just speed up a bit and quickly all pass. Here's the lever, run to the open door. Hurry up, only a few more to go and we will already be on the 10 room. This is a very good result. So far, we only get in the sixth room. Let's see what is waiting for us here. There is nothing unusual here either. Just close doors. Let's go a little bit to grab coins and go to the seventh room. We still need coins, and it is better not to miss the chance to get them. Okay, like we're almost all packed. Let's run on. In room seven, there's also almost nothing unusual. Ordinary big room. Only here it seems already need a key. We need to find it and open the door. In parallel with the fact that we are looking for keys, we will collect coins. There are a lot of different boxes in which there are not a few coins. We've already saved 100 coins and that's really cool. Let's try to run around the main room in case we find something. Hurrah! Here are the keys from the eight room. Let's quickly pick them up and go on. Just a little more to go. Yay! At last we enter the eighth door. We have almost reached the 10th room where it 
should appear exactly monsters. There was nothing in room eight, so we go straight to nine. Oh my God, there's a monster you can't look at because if you look at it, it will do very fast damage. We'll have our backs to him so we don't get caught in his face. Hooray, we were able to get through it. We were able to survive the first monster. It's very cool, come on quickly. We are already at the 10th door and it will probably be necessary to rearrange the paintings so that they fall into place. Now we will do it! It is very easy to do it here, and very soon we will be able to arrange them correctly. As soon as we do that, we'll be able to access the next room. There's room 11! Let's get into it! Wow! There's almost nothing normal here! Let's try to get down! Let's also collect some coins! I thought we could go further! Descend all the lower and lower. There must be something interesting. At least there are a lot of boxes in which to store money. We've already saved almost 200 coins. Here we come down to the very bottom. Let's quickly go to the next door. It must be very interesting. Oh my God, how dark it is. Let's go gently to the next door. How scary, I wanna get out of here but I can't see the door. There she is, oh my God, there's a closet down. What a horror, and there's a monster behind us. Oh no, he was so scary. Ah, I was very afraid of him. It's good that he didn't kill us. And that was very scary. So we are looking for passage further. We must quickly get to room 20. We already have room 14. We get already to the 15th room. This is very good because very little left to 20. Here we also collect coins and go faster because here you can just go to the next room. There's room 16. I wonder what will be waiting for us there. Oh my God. The light is blinking. It means that the next monster will appear very soon. It's very scary. Let's hide in the closet from him. It flew over and knocked out the whole world. Now there's almost nothing to see. Let's get to the very end. We have very little left. Here we are in a strange room. Just keep moving until there are no monsters. There was that little monster behind us whispering again. It is very unexpected and scary, but we still cope with it and it does not kill us. Let's look for the key. It seems to me that the key is here. Oh, there it is. At last we could find it. Let's go ahead and see what awaits us. It's already room 18. How well we pass. What is waiting for us in this room now? I think that there is nothing, so we better collect coins and run to room 19. Our goal is to get to room 20. Hooray! There's room 20! I hope there won't be any monsters! Thank God! There's just a big room where we can collect a lot of coins. We have almost 300 of them, and we need to at least collect them. It's good to have no one hunt you down and no monsters. I'd stay in this room because it's very safe. But we still have to move on, so now we're going. Now I think I need to collect another nightstand with coins and run faster on. Yet why stay forever in one place? Need to run on. That's 21 rooms waiting for us. There's nothing here again. Okay, I really like this mode because it is very scary and I love very much horror stories. I'm ready to come back here again and play a little longer. We have already passed a lot and here we are hunting us again, Rush. We will hide from it, but we will still finish playing because we are very tired. Subscribers, thank you for watching. If you like this series, like it and subscribe to our channel. See you soon, bye. Hello friends, hello followers. Today we will play a game called Roblox. We are waiting for a big trip in one of the modes. Hello everyone. Today we will play in a mode called Escape Girls Only Prison. I think we will have a lot of fun today. Wow, hi everyone. This game is very much like escaping from prison, Barry. But now we are being followed by a guard woman. But we are not easy here and we need to escape. The first thing we see in our cell is a cake. Let's eat it quickly. Suddenly there will be something lying. Oh my God, there is a key to something. It only looks like a key, Applejack. It's actually a spoon and we need to dig a hole in our escape chamber now. Oh my God, now we have to go through the parkour now. It's very fun and I like to pass it. Oh my God, these platforms are also bad standing and disappearing. Oh my God, it's all so unreliable, but it's understandable because we are under our prison. This guard is watching us. We need to be more careful. Next, we just need to complete this parkour. Now press the buttons and move the pipes on which we need to jump to the pipe. So much fun. 
So we got to the door. There's this guard everywhere and she's really stressing me out. All right, let's go to the next level of escape. Oh my God! Getting out of the vent, this guard immediately meets us and runs after us. She runs so funny and she is more fun than she frightens. Here at last we have passed this stage and go straight to the next. It seems that there we will need not to get to the cameras and pass unnoticed. You have to be very careful. We easily pass this stage and immediately move on to the next. There is a guard swimming in the pool and it looks very funny. It makes me laugh. We crawled through the ventilation in some toilets and now we fall down. There is some acid waiting for us and again parkour. He's so cool, but he's also the same. It was very light and tedious, so we quickly passed it. Let's move on because we need to quickly escape from here. Oh my God, there's a guard sleeping, quiet. Our task will be to release strong prisoners to cope with this guard. It will take three strong men from these cells to kill her. So we were able to defeat her and she has a key on her pants. We need to take it and open the door that leads to the next stage of our escape. We do everything so fast, I really like it. Wow, now we're going somewhere by train and it's very cool. I've never seen a prison train and it's very cool. Let's go. On the train, we got to some big ventilation pipe. And now with a gust of wind, we will run and jump all the obstacles that stand in our way. So we easily passed this pipe and now we are in the dining room. It looks like the first battle with the boss, just like in Barry's prison. This is so cool. We're going to kill this cook now with the cannon we're going to fill this chef with. And then soon it's going to explode. Very cool. So we were able to defeat her and out of her came a key that we can now open the next door. It looks like a little obstacle race in there. Wow, it's really fun to ride it and I love it. Hopefully there will be more of these interactive levels with transport as well as with bosses. So we passed that level and now we're in some kind of lab with a security robot who typed something on a computer. She put the prisoners in the pods, oh my God. It looks like we're gonna have to find something here because she's shooting lasers at us and there's nothing we can do about it. Let's see what's in here. We found a bucket of water and it looks like we're about to pour all the water on this robot. Oh my God, hooray. We managed to defeat this monster and now we have to put his head down to go on. Now we have reached the level where some big man lies and it looks like he needs to be shot by a cannon. We need to find a shot for the cannon urgently. It was right in the vent above that gun and now we just need to put it in the gun. Then we'll shoot this man and open the door. Hooray, we were able to defeat this monster man and we can safely go on. We are waiting for some ventilation and wonder what will happen next. Oh my God, some parkour again. Here we will need to turn all the buttons to open this door. We just need to get to these buttons and then we can open this door. I love playing this game. From this door we have opened, we have come to an unusual room where girls play. Only now we will have to find a button to open the door. Here's the button we were looking for and now we can go through the door that opened and go on to escape this prison. I hope the guard isn't watching us right now. Next we have another simple parkour on the pipes which we will easily pass. Next we hit some gym where one of the security guards does it. It's really big and scary looking so we really need to get on the elevator and get down from here. Coming down, we immediately find a spoon that will now dig the tunnel further. I think we are very close to the end of this game. There's a guard knight running around, so we need to get up the stairs to get away from her. She'll catch us and we'll start over. Now we'll have to find the key to the lock to get through. So now we're going to check every chest to see if there's a key or not. These chests are so hard to open. It's very hard for me to open them. Hurrah, it worked. Only there was nothing in that chest, so now we're looking for the next one. The second chest is in another part of this room. It seems to me there is exactly the key we are looking for. Hurrah! We were able to find the key to this lock and now wonder what happens next. There's a big parkour over the lava. All the obstacles we have to overcome bend down and we have a chance to fall into the lava with them. Oh my God, there are such scary skeletons in the rooms of this cave. You have to be careful not to fall into these skeletons. You should die as little as possible. There are a lot of them here, so you need to be very careful and careful. Hurrah! Everyone, we were able to do it, and now go on. I wonder what will happen. Oh my god! Next, we have to ride on a trolley that leads us down. I wonder where she's taking us now, and if we can get out of this prison. Oh my god! We drove behind the textures, and it looks like this mode with big bugs. But like a trolley goes well, and hope we arrive. 
We were able to get here and now we are waiting for the next obstacle on the way. We need to pass all the pens of the dogs that are here. There are also small and very large dogs that bite painfully. We're halfway there and pretty soon I think we can get out of this prison. I really want to finish my prison break because I'm really tired. Next, we have a fast ride in a race car that I think is very fast. We have to overcome all obstacles and then we can definitely escape. Wow, so fun to ride. I feel like a roller coaster in an amusement park. Just as fun and get adrenaline. This acceleration is very fast and I like to drive fast. Oh my God, it looks like we have arrived and we see immediately a guard who was in the beginning crying. We need to get to her and figure out what happened. Oh my God, looks like we're about to have a battle with the biggest boss in this prison. We're both in robot costumes and now all we have to do is beat the guard. It is not so difficult to beat this guard. She has a lot of health and you need to hit at point blank range. And if we stand like this, it will kill us very quickly. We need to think about how to kill her. We're about to kill that guard and we can move on. I wonder how many more we have left to get out of here. We just figured out how to beat that guard. Hooray, we could beat her. Surely we would now be free and be able to safely escape from here. I hope we don't have to go through anymore. Everyone, we have access to the passageway and it looks like we're about to get out of here. Yes, that's when we got the helicopter to fly us out of here. Hooray, we're flying out of prison in a helicopter and it's really cool. I'm so glad we were able to get out of here and now we can safely fly to freedom. I'm so tired of doing this. So here we are at some safe base where we'll be living for the first time. We were able to pass this mode very quickly and I really liked it here. That's it, we were able to escape. Subscribers, if you like this series, like and subscribe to our channel. Write your opinion in the comments. See you soon, bye. Hello friend, hello audience. Today we continue to play the game Roblox again. Today we have a big open world without any plot. You're in charge. We're playing Brookhaven RP. This is a big city simulator in Roblox where you can choose any role and create your character from your story. Hi, hi! Wow! Here we are again in this wonderful game. I love Roblox so much because here you can play a variety of games. You can play some horror games or play some kind of simulator. This is very cool and today's mode is very interesting for me. Let's see what he is. Hello? Whoa! There's a big city like this at our disposal. Let's take a typewriter and drive around this city. Very interesting. What is here? I think that there is everything for life. So many different roads. Here, I think there is not only a city, but also a suburban area. This is very cool. Wow, you can build your own house here. Let's just try this and see what kind of houses we have and what the game offers. Oh my God, so many different houses. There are free and also paid. But I will choose a rather modest house in which we can all fit. Let's see what he's like inside. Wow, how handsome he is. And even with his little patch. I wonder if this gate can close. You need to look at the menu of the house features or you would not want other players to come to our territory. There are buttons to turn off the lights, but I can't find the gate button. There she is. I finally found her and now you can go inside. Oh my God! How in this game all functionally? Over it probably worked hard to get such a wonderful game. So, see what is inside our little house? Wow! We are immediately met by a living room combined with a kitchen. We have a heater to heat the house, a TV, and even there is a second floor. Let's see what it is. Very interesting shows on TV, but I agree with Pinkie Pie that you need to quickly climb to the second floor. Oh my God, there are very cozy bedrooms. There are four seats for all of us and we'll fit in. Only you need to choose who we'll sleep with, and then there is no separation of one bed, and it is very good because at once would be lost beauty of the interior. So, let's go downstairs and see if there is a bathroom in our house. It should be 100%, because without it, the house is not home. I think there's a bathroom in this room. Oh my God, how beautiful it is. There is a large and spacious shower, a comfortable toilet, and even a small window that you can sometimes look into. Everything is so functionally. 
You can even wash your hands with an apple. So, finally, let's look at our site and what it has. You can immediately see the street laundry with a lawn mower as well as two washing machines. This was done very conveniently to not take up much space in the house. On the street are also comfortable tables for sitting, spacious field, grill, and even jacuzzi. I like living here. So now we go further to travel the world. Very interesting. What else is cool besides such houses? While driving through this city, you just want to think about nothing and enjoy this beauty. Oh my God, there is even an airport. I really like planes and I want to see what's inside. Let's go there together. I'm also interested in what the airport is like in Roblox. Will there really be a real plane and will it be possible to fly it? There is a plane, but not the fact that it will fly and it is sad. At the entrance to the airport, we meet the checkpoint. So let's take a purse and go further. We don't care what flight we're on. We just want to see how it works. Okay, now let's go on the plane ramp, and I wonder if it's going to fly at all. This ramp is so beautifully arranged, so you can expect the best from the plane. Wow, there's a separate teleport in the cabin of the plane. Very interesting. Wow, how beautiful. There is so much space. I would go on such a plane somewhere to rest. There is a kitchen and sofas instead of places to sit. You can even enter the cockpit. I wonder if it is possible to become a pilot here. Wow, we have a pilot role now and we can fly the plane. It's too bad you can't really fly over the world of Brookhaven. But it's okay. Let's get out of here and go see what's interesting. The airport is cool, but you want to see something completely unimaginable in this world. Get back in our beautiful car and go explore the expanses of this city. Wow, local people here even ride horses. This is very interesting. Whoa, what did I see? Is that a subway in Roblox? Wow, let's see if there's actually a subway there. If this is real, then I will be shocked that I ride the subway in the game Roblox. But first, I want to try the city mini park with swings. They are so big, I like them very much. I wonder if it's possible to make a wheel around them. Now is the time to try it. Yo, how fun is it to ride on these swings? I would play and play this game. It is very cool and fun. Would call all our friends here. I have already been so stung by these coups. Why did you shake these swings so much? I mean, I like to swing like this, but I'd like to slow down and calm down. Looks like we don't have to be pilots yet if we get really seasick on these swings. Let's get down and see what's next. There is even a city pool in which at the moment is very empty. It is a pity. I would have played with someone here. But nothing. It is not very important. Now I want to finally look at the metro in this city. How it works and how realistic it is done. Run to the train. Wow, he rides alone and without a driver. That's very interesting. Only it looks like he's made to look like he's riding and can't move between stations. That's too bad. Because when you get off, the train stops at the same stop as you did. But thank God, here in the cab of the driver, you can choose the station you want to come to. It's just amazing! Let's see where we're going if we've moved to some place. Let's get out of the subway and see how far we can get. The station is called Crown Point. Very interesting. What is behind this station? Oh my God, it is like a countryside where you can also put your house as well as travel in nature. There are a lot of beautiful houses here. I want to go into everything and see their interior but we will do this probably in the next series, when we will build our house. Let's hurry back to the city and finish this wonderful episode in this cool game. I personally really liked it here, especially riding the subway. In fact, this is just the best mode in Roblox I've ever seen. There is everything that is missing in some modes. Here, you can and try yourself in different professions, ride the subway, or build your own beautiful house. There are a lot of interesting cars on which you can safely ride and do not need to buy anything and work. This is just paradise life. Ah, uh, it even has an animation panel that you can use for some situations or to shoot some movie. It's just a super game and I want to come back to it.
to it again. If you like this game too, then like it and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you soon. Hello. Hello, dear followers. Today, we continue to play at Roblox, and today we will have one of the scariest games in Roblox. It's called Apirophobia, and it's very scary. There are many different locations that are very beautifully made, as well as many scary characters that will from time to time scare us. Hello! I am very much afraid of horror stories. You will support me and soothe me? Cause I might just faint in fear and not make it with you. Let's stick together in this game and play calmly. I think it's gonna be a lot better than everyone doing their own thing. Hello! We are already entering this beautiful game! Ha ha ha! I love horror stories and I'm ready to help you with anything! because I'm not afraid of monsters and I can safely pass any level. That's the first level. It's a very scary game, the audience. So if you're afraid, turn off this video. It's very scary. Hello, friends. Hello, audience. Here we immediately launched into this game. It's time we find a way out of here. The clue shows that we need to find a hatch with a ladder, but a monster will follow us. I hope he doesn't scare us at the beginning. I'm scared! Oh my god! How scary it was! And that sound! Ugh! How terrible! Let's quickly find the way out of the arrows that are shown here! There's such a big maze here! I hope we can even find a way out! There are very few clues, and you need to run along different paths and return again to the same place where we were. That is how the maze is arranged! The main thing is not to meet the same monster! it will prevent us. Now we will try all the ways that will help us get out. Okay! There's a clue here that we should take that route, but we're gonna go the other way because I think the creator is trying to confuse us like this and there's not gonna be that hatch. If we run around here now and we don't find a way out, we're gonna have to go that way because that's the only way we haven't tried it. There is a strange purple glow and more arrows appeared. I think we are on the right way, and now we will pass this level. Oh my god! It is! We have finally found this hatch, and we can get out of here. There is some kind of ventilation in which to jump! Hurry up and get there! We are moving to some building where you just need to run. I wonder where we will run. Some long road has met us, and it leads us to who knows where. But I realized that it takes us from one level to another, and it's done very nicely and pleasantly to the eye. Very cool graphics in this game, and it is comfortable to play, despite the fact that there are many scrimmers and itself is a very scary game. By the time we get to the second level, I'm tired of running straight ahead! You want to solve riddles and be scared of monsters that I fear, but only a little. Yes, I agree in Twilight Sparkle. The graphics in this game are on a level and gives its own atmosphere, which is not found in other Roblox games. This game is the only quality horror game. Hurrah! We almost made it to the second level! It really happened! Wow! There are some swimming pools and everything is made of tiles that are used in swimming pools. It's probably very slippery, but we need to think about what to do. We need to find six pieces of valves in the tubes to open a door that still needs to be found. I hope we can handle it. It's pretty dark in here, so we should use a flashlight that we have well that we have. Looks like I found the first valve to scroll. Let's do it quickly. You have to take it and press A or D buttons to scroll it. Very interesting! It remains to do the same with five more valves! We will now look for the next valves. Only I have no idea what to do to find them. There are no clues for this, and it will be hard to find one or the other valve. We have never seen a monster before, and hope we never see one. In addition to going through the levels, we need to defend ourselves against the monsters that are hunting us. I think someone is watching us, I wonder. Who could it be? Oh my god! How scary it was now! There was not only the monster that was seen on the first level, but also some octopus. It seems that we should hide from it. It is quite slow, so we will have time to escape from it. We still need these valves. Run them to search and spin. Yeah! Let's find those valves! 
But now let's all be very careful because this could be the octopus that could kill us. Be very careful and do not let us be killed. We have very few valves left. Let's go look for them. So we found another valve. Let's scroll it and run it further. We have one less valve left. Pinkie Pie, I think you're confused. There's no valve and it looks like you're starting to hallucinate out of fear. Do not be afraid. We are with you and always are. Even if the monster catches us, it will catch us all together, not just you. Now we have definitely found a valve that is in the water. It remains to find fewer and fewer valves. Hurry up! Very well. Let's keep looking for these valves. We have on account for as many as two and still have to find four more. It will be quite easy because these two we found in just a few minutes. It turns out that we have a few more minutes and we will move on to the next level. I hope we succeed and the monster doesn't catch us. I found just one more valve and we have exactly as much time left as we did. Oh my God! There's no way this my monster has us stumped. We have no choice where we run because now he's just gonna kill us where we run. Well, nothing. You need to accept the damage and just start from the beginning. Our valve, which we scrolled, should stay. I'm scared to look at this monster. So, let's quickly revive and think what we are doing wrong. It seems to me that there is still some tactic to find these valves. Let's look at the clue again and think about it. Nothing is clear on her, but it is clear that you need six pieces of these valves. So ran to look. Generally no idea where to look for them. I think I figured out what to do here. From above, we have these pipes, and if we go in the direction of them, we can find the valve that belongs to them. I'm just brilliant, and now let's test this theory. Hope it really works. Oh my god. We can't find anything yet. We'll go for a little pause, which you won't even notice. Oop, here we are. We've already found all the valves and scrolled them, and found an exit that's finally open. There's a green button on which means we've completed all the assignments on this level. Hurry up and keep going. It looks like we're going swimming and we need to find a way out. We're almost at the end of this level. It's just that we can't see very well, but we'll manage. It's very deep, but we've been able to get through that depth and into a place where we need to get out. There's a big tunnel that leads to who knows where. It looks like it's almost the end of the second level. We are great at that, so quickly pass them. Okay, so we're moving on to the next third level, but we're only going to do it in the next one. During this series, we managed to pass two interesting levels, and we managed to scare us three times. This is a very interesting and scary game, which is very much breathtaking and develops logic. Hope we come back here. Like it, audience. See you soon. Hello, friend. Hello, dear subscribers. Today, we will play a game called Roblox, in which we will have to play a mode that represents survival in different weather conditions that exist all over the world. It's going to be quite a challenge, so you have to work hard to win this mode. That's why we came here, because we are all powerful ponies. We are now entering the first level of this game! They're offering us a big office, and we don't know what kind of weather event it's going to be, so we need to figure out where to run. I think we're going to run upstairs, see if there's anything off the ground. But if there are any tornadoes or earthquakes, we will immediately fall with the house and crash. Now we will look. There's so many people running upstairs. It looks like they know something, or they just want to get higher. The most important thing is that we can all be saved, because it will be very sad if we lose at first level. But we're going to do whatever it takes to make sure we win here because we can do better. And on the roof of this office, we're going to win. Oh my god! We are very lucky with this level because we have a flood from which you need to hide on high buildings and not only. Now we definitely have to win as long as nobody pushes us out of here or else we lose this easy level. Let's see how the water rises in this world because we've never seen it. It's a very beautiful game. Wow, it's getting so smoothly up. And it's probably best not to stand on the edge of this building because it's so scary and it could be that somebody bumps us and we crash. The most important thing is to watch the water so you know when the building will be flooded and wait for it to start falling apart. 
Hopefully, with the whole building falling apart, we won't go into the water and die. Oh my god! That can't be! How could we slide down from this building? I'm so sorry we couldn't make it past this level because it was one of the easiest. We were at the top of the building and we had to wait until the end to win, but we didn't make it. Well, that's all right. Now we wait for the next level and we definitely have to win it. Won by some two people who were very lucky. If we were inside the building or on top of the building, but in the center, we would win too. But then we slipped off this building because we jumped and fell into the water. It's a shame, but we're not gonna be sad because it's just a game. And now we're gonna get to the next level where we're gonna make it work. Okay, let's wait for the next level because I'm already wondering what the next level has prepared for us. This is a very interesting game, judging by the first level. You have to be smart enough to figure out where to hide and to figure out where to hide from a certain weather event. The next card we're gonna play is the school, and I think there's plenty of places to hide. It's such a big place. I think we'll find a place to hide. There are also lockers that can be climbed, as well as there are classrooms where you can play teacher or just hide, because this is a very small room that is protected completely by walls, so no weather phenomenon can break through this protection. Now we have to wait for the weather event to be announced. It's such a big place. I think we'll find a place to hide. There are also lockers that can be climbed, as well as there are classrooms where you can play teacher or just hide, because this is a very small room that is protected completely by walls, so no weather phenomenon can break through this protection. Now we have to wait for the weather event to be announced. Oh my god! It was very unexpected when a tornado appeared right in the place we were. We lost our hair, and we were very lucky that we were able to survive, because we could easily die. We have very few lives left, and we need to stay away from the flying blocks and the tornado itself, so that we don't get sucked into it and hit us with any blocks. I'm glad we're lucky, and the most important thing is that the tornado doesn't come our way now, because we have to watch out for him. We'll be standing on the edge because most of the tornadoes are near the building and it shouldn't touch the edges. It's a really cool tornado system and I love it. Only we are now completely bald and it is very scary. I cannot look at my character. So we have finally won this challenge. I am so glad that we were able to win, though not in the first, but most importantly, in the second test. It was a very difficult test, and we tried not to get hit by this tornado. We were very lucky because if we had stayed even longer in this tornado, or we had not stood quickly near a tornado, we would have died for sure. So, now on the next level, we are waiting for the map house. In it, I think it will be a little difficult to hide, but a lot of space. So if there's any rain or storm, we can survive in this house. But if there is a flood or an earthquake, it will be in question because it will be necessary to quickly move to a place where you can climb on the roof or vice versa, descend from it. Let's try to win here. Only hear strange things happen, start something loud, and also our screen starts to be white. It seems that there is a snowstorm and we need to hide just in the house. How lucky we are with you. And now we will win again. Hurrah! Yay! Okay. Let's not make any guesses for the future. It will be better what exactly will be. So we won in the last mode, where there was a blizzard, just a camera blew out of the snow, and we could not film it for you. It was too cold. Let us try now further, and very interesting, what will be offered to us at the next level. I really like to survive in such conditions, because it is very unusual and very scary for some. The main thing is not to die before the time, and quickly respond to the change of situation. Here we are quietly surviving on some construction site. We already have hair, but we still have very little health. Here we will have a volcanic eruption, which we did not expect. I will hide where there is no lava, and we can survive here. If only a piece of stone flies right into our building, behind which we hide, we can die, because all the details will blow us into the ocean. Here I am already very bored to stand, and I would go in the midst of fun where most of the rocks fly, but we have very little health, so we'd better wait here and regrow so that we can have full health and do whatever we want at these levels. The most important thing is that we have a safe place. So we have won this next level, and it is very cool, because after one loss, we have the third in a row. So now we 
are waiting for the next level and very interesting what kind of map will be on it. I really liked only the card that is called school. There are many different rooms and a lot of space to hide all players. And of course we. It was on that map that we were able to win in spite of everything. I also wonder what we will hide from at the next level. Hooray! The next card on which we will play is just the school that is my favorite. I wonder what natural phenomena will appear at this level, because I do not even understand where to hide to survive here. We still have very little health, and it is a pity that it is not restored after each passing level. All right, we can survive this easily. Let's hide again on the second floor. Geez, well, let's not really survive at this level, because we're running out of time. It was very interesting to know what the natural phenomenon here, but we better leave it all for the next episode of this game, because it is very interesting, and I am sure that we will make exactly the second part. If you like this series, like and subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Bye. Hello, everyone. Hi, dear subscribers. Today, we will play with you in a game called Roblox. In this game, there are many different modes that we will try in the future, but today we have a special game. We will pass the obby parkour from the first person, and plus, we will escape the guards. Hope that will be very exciting. Hello, everyone! Hurrah! We'll be playing Roblox again! Wow, what a scary guard in this game! I hope we can defeat him and escape this prison! I also hope that it will be quite easy, because we are going through it for the first time, and we will definitely not be able to do it simply because we do not know how to do it all. All right, I love the beginning of this game. So, girlfriends, hello everyone. We are all glad that we continue to play in Roblox and invite you not to delay, but to begin to pass this game. Click now on play and choose the game mode. We have only easy and it is very good. And now we will probably be able to pass it all. Well, let's get going, or we won't be able to fit it all in one episode. Hello, everyone. Most likely here at the beginning, you need to run arrows. They show that you need to climb on the pipe and run towards the ventilation. Here are very much interfering players. Why not make them transparent to be easier to pass? So we got into the ventilation, ran rather on it to explore the spaces of this prison. I hope that we will have good adventures. So we got into some section where there's a lot of pipes and stuff. There's some button. Let's push it. Oh my god. Something's come up here. We need to find it. Oh, it's some platforms that we're going to have to jump on until the next stage. I hope that there will be something interesting waiting for us, which will be difficult for us. So we were given a wrench and very interesting, where we will now get to the next thing. We're going through the vent and we're probably going to sneak into a place where all the guards are because I can already hear them. Oh my god, here they are. They are so funny. I really like them. The main thing is that they do not catch us and everything will be fine. Okay, now we need to push the button and get the guard to the top floor. There, we'll have to jump on the pipes and run them to the vent that we opened on the button. I hope he doesn't follow me through the pipes, but stays on this top floor. He's so funny. I'm sorry he's so angry. I'd like to make friends with him. Thanks to this vent, we've already penetrated some toilet where we found this underground passage. There was a shovel nearby, and now we will quickly have to dig a passage, but so the guards do not notice us before time. Oh my god. We hit some scary dungeon where we have to go through the parkour and not burn in lava. It is very scary here. I hope that this fear will not prevent us in the further parkour. Now our next challenge is to run through this rolling balloon. We're going to have to go to places where he doesn't hit. And we're going to have to keep an eye on him so he doesn't run us over. This is a fairly simple task. So we are not fast, but very easy to handle this task. I really love going through these trials, and I hope there will be more of them than usual in the next series. Out of this dungeon we have climbed, and now our task is to pass the tests with high speed. We had a drink, and now we have to jump through all these obstacles, and we'll move on to the next level. This is a fairly simple task, because we are already very fast, and there is even very little speed for us, and we will now easily pass this test. The next test we're going to do is walk down the block and with a fan. We may just blow away from here, but we'll try to stay here and not fall down. So far, we've got our first try, and we haven't screwed up this whole prison break. 
I hope that when you die, you don't show up at the beginning of these trials. Just the one you left out the last time. Okay. Now this is where we had to jump through the parkour and get to a place where we needed to shut off the air. Because if we hadn't blocked them off, we would have just lost our way and we wouldn't have been able to go any further. So we have already found all the valves and shut them down and now quietly go on the tests. We are going very well and I do not like it. Looks like the trials are about to get harder than this. Next, we're going to have a test that is very similar to the past where we ran fast. Only here you cannot turn and you only need to jump at the right moment. It's even easier than it was last time. And it's very good that we're doing all right in these prison trials. It's been a while since we've seen the guards. I miss their funny faces. Okay, now we're in a big air duct that looks like we're gonna get into a little vent that we're gonna go through. Let's try quickly. I think that it will be very fun to fly in this huge airway. Ooh, how cool it is here. Run faster. Looks like we're about to have some kind of battle with the boss, because I can already see a weapon in the distance, and I can see the cook running at us. Let's go get the bazooka that shoots the food and kill that chef! He's got a lot of lives, and I hope he can't kill us easily, and we can handle him with ease. Basically, we have a cool bazooka that helps us a lot, and now in a few strokes, we can break it. He's so funny, just like those security guards who come around the cameras. Okay. Now we're in some weird place where we need to get metal boards and use them to move across platforms to the door. I think we just need one thing because you can just cross it, then take it and put it on the other side. It is very funny that you can facilitate the game in this way. I wonder what is waiting for us behind this door. Right now, we're gonna see what's behind that door and all we need to do is finish this metal board thing. There's not much left. Oh my God. What is this big robot, and what do we need to do with it? We don't even have any weapons to win it. Hopefully we'll get it at least, or we'll have to find it. He's so scary and strong. I'm so scared. Here, we have a bazooka now! Just the same one we used against the cook! Let's get him out of his hands quick, or he's gonna shoot us, and we're gonna lose to that robot, and we're not far from the end of this prison break. Let's try very hard, or else our efforts which we have done in all trials, will go nowhere. Hooray! We beat that scary robot and now we have to think where to go from here. We'll probably have to take a car and drive far away. There's a SWAT car nearby and we can get out of here. I really like the way this game is designed and I'm really glad we played it and went through it all. Now all we have to do is get the hell out of here. Here we are approaching some mountains and it looks like we're gonna have to hide there. There must be less good conditions for us to survive, as well as not to be found by the police, who will definitely look for us. Although they are very fat, and therefore will not be long to run before us, and we can escape from them with ease. So, there's some kind of pipe climb, and we're gonna have to climb up. It will be a fairly simple task, because today we have seen a lot of difficult tests and could easily pass this game. Breaking out of prison is a fairly simple task, and we've dealt with it. I have enjoyed fully all the trials that have come our way, and I want to soon come back here again to pass the trials much more difficult than me. Here we are in the helicopter, and this is the final part of this prison escape. We have enjoyed all these challenges, so we suggest you to play this game. If you like this Roblox series, then like and write your comments. Also, subscribe to our channel. With you were my little 